we've talked about the basic ACV here, right? Various di diameters, mm -hmm. right? So we have two inch all the way up to 24. 24, that's a heavy one. Yeah. And then we have this one over here. I noticed that we actually have, I think this is called a bypass on the end, right? Correct. What's the real main difference between these two standard valves? Well, again, where you're going to see these often would be in a building. Yep. And everything that you see here is essentially identical on this valve over here. Okay. It's You've all got, replicated from one side to the other. Water's coming this way. It's, it's going through to downstream. It's now coming up through that orifice valve, mm -hmm. slowing that water down. Here's your speed opening control for the cap. And here's that pilot. So you see the same identical features that you see over here. So what is this big valve over here? Yep. Now, in this building, let's say they're using 50 to 150 gallons a minute all day long. Mm -hmm. But at 5 o'clock or 6 o'clock when everybody goes home, there's showers, there's a flushometer, there's some toilets. So there's some demand, but it's very, very low. It's minimal. Yeah. But okay. if you guys know flushometers, it's like high volume quickly, small amount. So this is a low flow bypass that allows from 0 to 30 gallons a minute to go through and around and not engage the main valve. Gotcha. So your building is still serviced in the lower demands, but you don't have to engage the main valve. Correct. Okay. And often we'll get a call and say, my valve is so loud. Mm -hmm. you know, what's going on? Can you help us out? You come in and you realize, when is that happening? Well, it's uh, at midnight. Right? Yep. It's in the middle of the night. What happens? It got toilets flushing, flushometers, got some showers. So we go ahead and put an LF223 onto the original valve. It's whisper quiet. And I see we actually have plugs on the back side of that, so you could actually modify these accordingly. Right? You can. Okay. You can. So you're in the field. Um, the plugs would be for your pressure gauges. And let's say something changes. The building dynamic, the added demand. You can go ahead and you're now running at 65 or 70 PSI. Mm -hmm. You simply come in, make a simple adjustment, and we, we dial it back to 60 PSI. And you're good to go. Yep. Gotcha. So what looks a little intimidating, you know, if contractors are putting in backflows or some traditional plumbing products and solutions all day, every day, this could be another tool in their toolkit to help them. Exactly right. And okay. you're not alone. you got to phone a friend. Watts Ames is always here to make sure you buy the right stuff. Jerry, thanks for coming by again this week. Thanks, Gary. Yep. Great we'll see you here. next time on Contractor Corner.